did disconnect uh, probably because of a, a damage because looking looking at the car in the pits it is missing the uh, the right right tire he did just join the game again and uh, start started up the car so let's see what what happens Now Christian Mitchell is on the same lap as Jan. Just curious if he is gonna withdraw that cat. No, there he goes. That's quite optimistic doing 300 kilometers an hour with three wheels. Seems like we're not having uh, Jimmy coming tonight, right? Yeah, correctly. So if, if you're gonna leave, just put the uh, the camera on that uh, fourth fan uh, <laughs> uh, and set it to take um, to go through all the cars on track. All drivers, that is, excluding them in the pits. Just set it to update every 60 seconds, and you can uh, you can go. Jimmy, I'm not going. Okay. Only three hours left. <laughs> so, but if you want me to leave, I can leave though. 
No, no. <laughs> it's always good with some company, even if you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like we are having Thomas Beha, his GG Pro car, uh, not catching up to some of the AM cars. Uh, do you know the reason for that? Thomas actually used to be a fast driver, actually. Mm, yeah, well, he did uh, post that they were being rather unlucky. I, I I did see them in that big crash uh, on, uh, is it the Camel's Raid? I'm usually not into names. That's between a Rouge and that right-hander. <laughs> I think it's the Camel's Raid. Uh, where we brought up the Code 80. Was it the first Code 80 or the second? I can't remember. The second one, yeah. Um, the big crash with four cars. Pretty bummed up car they had there. So even though the, <laughs> the DT Pro, was it an hour ago, was the closest battle between 1, 2, three, uh, 3 and 4, well, 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th, and now we have Alessandro on lap 178, Daniel Almeida on 177, and Joe Kiampa on 176. Uh, Daniel Pizzo is in 174th lap now, so uh, yeah, not that much, not that close anymore. However, Daniel Pizzo is catching uh, Joe Kiampa, even though he's uh, several laps down. I actually want to just mention that David Greco went into the pits, but he's still like far ahead with nearly six laps. Yeah. I think they can actually m make a complete car from that. Now I'm watching Pizzo and uh, Kiampa and Campbell in the P2 behind them. He actually caught up with them before turn 17. And now we're down to watch Arouge and there he goes past them. See, that's how, that's how patient you need to be when driving these... Uh, these P2 cars when you have a fight going on in front of you. Seems like satellite racing in GTAM is having a hard time with Spa this year. Um, the the league, or maybe not in the league, but maybe today Spa is not really the race for them. Uh, do you have anything on that, uh, Jimmy? Uh, wh what car did you say? Uh, car 11, Chad Simons, he's in the pits, but it's satellite racing, so I kind of expected more from them today. Car 11? Yeah. Chad Simons. Uh, Chad Simpson, sorry. Wasn't that, that car withdrawn? <laughs> I think it was. I, I haven't seen the 
Number 11, to be honest. I can put it on the, str on the stream. No, let me just review. I'm, I'm going through the cars now. Skriv til uh, Philip der, at uh, der er det der stream. Um, and it, we mean position 11, because there's no car 11 on the server. Well, there, there is the O11. I think it's that one then. The driver is Chad. I will bring him on the live feed so you can Oh see. no the oh okay the live feed yeah that's because uh Chad Simpson swapped from the 11 car the 11 is a P2 car so oh. the and that's one of the things I had to do today <laughs> instead of running around trying to get online uh was to get this uh, broadcast up to date it isn't because Chat swap to the 95 satellite GTE AM car. Um, I just had reports that you're very hard to hear on the stream, so you might want to turn up the volume for your mic. Oh, me or what? Yeah. Oh, okay. But, well, but satellite, I don't know, I, I haven't seen much of the AM cars, like usually one of the top teams in uh, in prototypes uh, Chad is a prototype driver so yeah I don't know Is the sound better now? Just getting confirmation on that. I'm gonna take a couple of seconds before the actual stream streams that or whatever. request go to cockpit view and remove the mouse again <laughs> of the voice from you, John. But okay. Uh, I guess I guess it's okay. I, I just turned on uh, the mic a little bit louder, but I don't want to turn it all up because it's really loud then. Yeah, that's fine. So, in cockpit of the Corvette, please. No, the the Viper. Sorry. Uh, driver name. Uh, Chad Simpson, the ninety-five satellite. There you go, guys. Uh, gonna be a little bit delayed on the stream, but it will come very soon. Oh, when you say that, it's already changed. So <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a really great sounding car. Very raw. Mm. 
on, on the stream, I don't hear it that well. Maybe you should turn up half factor two just uh, a tiny bit. Perhaps I don't, I don't know. I'm not listening to the stream a lot, but uh, so I'm still not loud enough. No, the the R factor two might not be loud enough. Guys, can you can you confirm that the me and Jon's voices are louder than R factor? Should we turn up R factor two? The sound, I mean. Just give them thirty seconds at least to <laughs> respond. Okay, yeah, just uh, turn R factor 2 up uh, a little bit. Okay. Better now? Yep. Cool, guys. And yes, that mouse is that is gonna going away now. Sorry. Okay. I wonder why he, he didn't s go up to into sixth gear there on uh, the back straight. Um, it depends actually. I don't know. Blue flag. Air yeah, is to be seen. Seems like it's getting darker and darker now, slowly. It's, uh, all of a sudden, it's, it's going to go really fast when the, when the sun just hits the horizon. It's going to be, uh, well, it's yeah, it's just going to go <laughs> really fast all of a sudden. We're now having um, 
Luca Radelli in K31 um, or position 25th closing in on Mark Fuller only a ha one and a half a second so it's breaking and good cornering and he might overtake him very soon We just had Bart Strobans overtaking uh, Federico Solve. I'm not actually sure what's going on right now. Um, but we will still be here a little to see if Luca managed to overtake Mark. Uh, now in a bit of traffic with an Another LMP1 car. <coughs> now Luca is nearly bumper to bumper with uh, Mark Fuller. That was a close one. We just had uh, Ro Luca Radelli hitting um, Mark Fuller's bumper there. So So let's just uh, review uh, how the lap times are. Two or three from David Greco leading P1, second place two or six from Christian Mitchell, Louis Castro two or nine, about Gomez two o nine, that's a P two by the way. Bjorn Gorbo two o eight point three and a hook top hook, hook tap. Dutch, so I'm not sure if that's pronounced correctly. 26.09. So that's one hell of a lap from uh, um, uh, him. No, that's a P1, so that's. thought it was a P2. Daniel Martin, uh, 207.3. Bart, 211.3. Federico Suave, 211. Sean Campbell 231, so he probably had an issue on that track. Michael Kellenbach 206, that's P1. Eugene van Lockenberg 216.9 in the LMP2 car. 
Alessandro in the 107 Scuderia GT Italia to 18.9 Daniel Almeida to 19.9 Joe Chiampa to 21.1 uh, Augusto Arias in the 74 MVD 209 Pizzo in the 106 to 20 point four and the O twenty seven life of racing Tiziano just put in his fastest lap to twenty point one eight two Getting back to the race here, um Luca just managed to overtake Mark Fuller for a half a lap ago, but Mark Fuller is fighting back right now. It's very interesting racing right now, so uh, it seems sometimes it's the braking who is uh, the problem right now for Mark. Uh, I think uh, later braking and more speed out of the corners would make Mark uh, overtake Luca again. Uh, or maybe a fall from Luca. We never know. Um, we'll keep uh, watching these guys for a few moments to see if it's going to happen anything. And now we actually have in Ciciano Ubanati coming from back of Mark right now. So now we have like three cars very close in GTAM for fighting for position. So it's very interesting right now. That's that's close. Especially in consideration of we are still having three hours left of the race and Yeah. Nine hours into the event, eight hours of racing, so uh, <laughs> it's pretty uh pretty close. Now we are uh, making a look at Ciciano Ubanati which is very very close to overtaking Mark Fuller now so actually I think that Luca actually thought Mark would be overtaking but I do think that now it's Ciciano who will be overtaking so it's now it's really interesting now and we having flashing lights as well to make room What these two need to remember is that there's not a pro car in behind them. They need to make room as well. So, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, the Ferrari will get by down to what the. Oh, m look at that! <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that's really good driving from Ciciano Ubanati there. He managed to overtake uh, Mark on the cornering and now closing on Luca. They were. So people, at least the guys in the cars right now, should be able to see the update to uh, to the window files. It, uh, it shouldn't be too uh, too hard to see out of uh, the actual cockpit view when there's uh, cars behind you and and uh, stuff like that. Again, small steps, small updates, <laughs> and that's uh, hopefully that uh, that's okay. Oh, look! Looking from cockpit view on the back street, from uh, I'm I'm looking right now. Oh, a crash! And Mark Fuller crashed as well.
seems like that Tetsiano Ubanati is now closing in on Luca. Only four seconds now, 4.2. Um, he's a bit faster, I presume. Right now, 3.8. Um, so that's Ferrari is going really, really well on around the track right now. See how fast the dark is coming out. Now you can actually see Tiziano Bernacci actually able to see the car in front of him, Lucas Porsche there, going into the corner. This is going to be closed very soon, I guess. Can you get on the wing of Luca? Just to get a different view. I don't know which one it is. Uh, camera on board 3023 or? I don't know. One of the, the first ones on board. Two, three, four, I'm on the truck. That is that one or that's from behind. Oh that's that's uh You won't look at one. There's a wing cam. Yeah that's that yeah, that's it. The third one? Jimmy, is this the one you want? Yeah. Okay. Well, now you changed it since I uh, I watched it. It's it's the one where you can see the wing. You had it for 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 quite some time. I think it's this is the one. I, it could be. I'm, I'm not sure. But now I'm looking at at the side of the car, and that's not the wing cam. Yeah. If you haven't ch if you haven't changed for the last thirty seconds, that's it. This is the one. Yeah. Let's just uh, stay here for for a lap just to to see the. The gap, see how close he gets. Well, in fact, that's from this is the one you need. Is uh, the back from Luca you want? Yes, sir. This is the one I'm having now. It's yeah. gonna be there in a short while. Okay. You can actually see now that Luca is having a bit of an issue with Ciano Ubanati, which is very much closing in on him in every corner. 
and it seems like that uh, on the straights uh, Luca is a little bit faster going out of the corners so it's quite interesting actually Oh, an issue for uh, Tiziano Ubanati seems to have crest. I don't. Yeah, yeah maybe. Well, it looks like. Oh, he crest. Blown. It's uh, it's a really hard crash. No, no he's, he's still going uh, still going. That was fortunate. <laughs> uh, he just lost that position to Mark Fuller. And he has suspension damage, so that's a, a positive pit stop. And probably uh, a minute or two on that. Oh, Marga is as well going to pit right now. I would expect Tiziano doing the same. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. And 75 is going to the pits as well, so... So Luca now and Mark Fuller oh. is in the pit and Ceciano is in the pit. This is going to be interesting. One, two, three, four, five, five. <laughs> GTs <laughs> in the pits now. Especially the GTAM is a lot of things is going on right now actually. Yeah. Now we just have to see who has the most damage. Gonna be... Ooh, it seems like Mark is now having the advantages over Tiziano again. Yeah, but he didn't have, have damage. He, that was just a simple uh tire and fuel, fuel okay okay well that's actually not a lengthy pit stop from Tiziano even pits now so maybe he saved them tires yeah maybe maybe he just went for damage I, I d did not check that, so I'm not sure. Seems like Alessandro now in uh, GG Pro is now closing in on Daniel Almeida.
And now Chet Simpson is in the pit. Oh my god, David Gregor just managed to do a fastest lap again, 201 free. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god, that's sick. Yeah, the thing with whoa whoa. We had a we had a crashing uh, LMP1 car on the straight. I don't see that. You should see it in the stream, it's a little bit delayed. There you go, on the left. I don't know who it is, actually. John Gobo is now in the pits. Now we are watching David Greco live from his cockpit just to give you guys a feeling of how fast he's driving around the track. So let's have a look at it now. And maybe Jimmy can update us the lap time. Well, the current lap from David uh, is a 204, so that's almost three seconds slower than his fastest lap. Uh, just. Uh, just one lap ago. Um, back in GT Pro, Joe Kiampa just put in a, a 219.0. So it's not just uh, David who's uh, going fast right now. Seems like we have Daniel Piso having a new faster lap in GG Pro. Yeah, 217.4086. It's been something's um, something's going right on the on the track, I think. It's been a great day for in terms of lap times today. It's just amazing yeah. that people managed to beat their fastest times all the time so it's quite actually really good oh my god David is fast was a pretty decent time from David. He did 2019. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. And now he is leading and now David Gregg is leading by seven left.
as I said and expected before, that uh, Tiziano Ubenati is now closing in on Mark. He just hit 9.5 seconds before a few moments ago, which was 13 seconds behind, so that's nearly 5 seconds within no time. So I expect we will have a fight between Tiziano Ubenati and Mark Fuller within the next couple of laps. If it keeps going this way. Seems like Sean Campbell is now. Yeah, Sean Campbell is now closing in on Federica Solvay. Some six seconds behind, though, but everything can happen very soon. We actually have a lot of things going on the track right now. We having Sean Campbell uh, going very close by Federico Solve. We have uh, Alexander Puachi in TG Pro uh, closing in on Daniel Almeida, and we having Tiziano Ubanati going to. Yeah, he's actually in five seconds now to Mark. About five seconds now. So, uh, Tiziano is definitely putting the pedal to the metal to overtake Mark very soon. Now it's 4.7 four seconds, so it's, 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 it's going to be close soon, I'm pretty sure. So we will definitely see some changing going on when we will have our first pit stop. Uh, the especially the GTAM is n far from over in this race. Uh, everything can happen now. Uh, if you look, uh, everyone is like one minute each from each other. So uh, I was, I think we will see a lot of changes going on during the last two hours and 40 minutes. Um, uh, just to have an interesting thing here, we see Alberto Gomez now in fourth position in the entire race as a LMP2 car. That's actually quite impressive. So René Hocht Terp is uh, an LMP1 car and it seems to be losing time to Alberto in an LMP2 car. Hmm. Uh, well Interesting. Last lap, last lap René was 4 seconds faster. So okay. might have lost it on, on last lap but uh, this lap it's uh, well it's at least faster. So Bjorn just did a 207.4, Thomas just did a 219.5, so that's uh, that's uh, pretty, uh, pretty intense fast laps now.
we just had Sean Campbell overtaking Federico Solve. Uh, I really didn't see what happened actually, but now uh, Sean Campbell managed to overtake Federico. So. We're now back with the car uh, Tiziano Ubenati, who is closing in on uh, Mark Fuller, less than 1.4 seconds as I expected. Uh, it seems that Tiziano's Ferrari is going faster than Mark Fuller's Porsche. Uh, I That's a call there for Mark Fuller. Uh, sorry, call that. Oh my oh. god, now he's overtaking him. Nearly. He's still on his side. Let's see what happens here. Yup. Seems like it. Yup. Tiziano did manage to overtake uh, Mark Fuller right now. And you see, when we're looking from the right wing, that uh, sorry, that was the wrong one. Um, if you look here closely, you will see uh, Ciciano. Ubenati's car and just behind him is Mark Fuller trying to catch up again. It's quite interesting right now, only 1.8 seconds. Sorry, 0 0.1, 0 0.8 seconds. And in, in <laughs> NGD Pro, uh, it's getting close again between Daniel Almeida and Alessandro Puotti. Puotti, I think I pronounced that correctly. Um, the 107 Scuderia GT Italian is uh, catching up to the 333 car again. It's look like that. Uh Mark Fuller is not letting uh, Tiziano just get his position, so uh, this position fighting is far from over right now. It still looks like on the straights that uh, Tiziano's Ferrari is a bit faster than Mark Fuller's Corvette. Do you know what happened to Alessandro? Somehow he lost uh, nearly 15 seconds. Who did? Uh, Alessandro Pucci. No. Nope. Oh yeah. I think he crashed out because he's missing the the bonnet now. So. Oh, that's a pity. Yeah. Again. Again. <laughs> yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the uh, the car that crashed out earlier. So bad luck for for that car. Probably heading for the pits now. So. Uh, Hopefully it, it won't take long because Gio Chiamber is is just and I say just uh, two laps behind it. It's not like it's a long time. Okay, so Daniel Almeida 
pits in front of uh, Alessandro now, so uh, maybe that's uh, a driver swap for the last. Wow, Tiziano just took nearly two seconds on Mark Fuller. That's impressive. That Ferrari is really going quite well on the track right now. I would expect to see um, Tiziano catching on Luca. One pit stop, that's all that is. Maybe a drive through, I don't know. Yeah, but Luca is in turn. That's mm -mm -mm -mm, 11 now. Well, that's. Uh As you can see, in on the back wing of uh, Ciciano right now, is that uh, Mark is all but gone right now. Uh, Ciciano really managed to uh, overtake Mark quite a lot actually and now he's really really putting the pedal to the metal now and trying as much as possible to gain some positions okay now we will have uh, some attention to some other drivers right now um, any suggestion Jimmy? Mm. let's see No, not, not really. <laughs> Alessandro just coming out of the pits now, so that was uh, a long pit stop. As you can see, if you're looking, uh, watching the uh, live timing right now, as I said before, uh, it seems that uh, Tiziano Benatti's Ferrari is going a lot faster on the straights, uh, and Mark Fuller is definitely losing time to him. So uh, I expect that uh, Tiziano Benatti's Ferrari would maybe uh, compete in uh, top two, maybe. Actually, I watched the the top speed of those two cars on the Kevel straight, yeah. reaching two fifty five both cars. So uh, maybe it it's it looks or like maybe if you one like ahead the draft. I don't, I'm not sure. No, Jimmy. If you look at like when Tiziano is like cornering and going out of the corner, he just like pulls away from uh, Mark Fuller's oh COVID. Yeah, so yeah, so that's the talk or yeah. well set up. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we have a disconnect again from uh, the SRVN P1 entry. It just pulls pulled out of the carriage just now. At least I can share info about the, the uh, new spill from ISI. It has been confirmed that rejoin works. So, just to get your hopes up for for the new build.
we have now Daniel Martin going into the pitch. Uh, that might give uh, Sean Campbell a chance to take a position. Maybe. I don't know if it's a driver change or it's fuel or <coughs> tires. I don't know, that was strange pit stop for Daniel. Maybe he forgot to choose something. Let's see what happens on his next lap. Oh, that was actually quite interesting. Jan now managed to overtake uh, Mark Fuller because he's in the pit. Uh, as I said before, if you look on the times, it's like one minute for each car. Uh, that would make a lot of things or a lot of cars changing position uh, during pits for the next couple of hours, I guess. And now Tiziano Ubenati is in the pit. And something must have happened to Mark. I think so because too. He, yeah, he just left the pits and Tiziano just entered and they were really close together for a few laps ago. I think it looks like that uh, the top three in GTAM is going to be steady around that time, but the fight for position four, five, six, seven is going to change a lot. I think, as it looks right now. Even third, fourth, fifth is uh, on the same lap. Yeah, exactly. And on the on the right time, it's uh, actually second, third, fourth, or fifth. So, oh, anything can happen here. And it's now looking that Arthur Sukula is now uh, gaining on Tiziano L an inch. I guess now it's going fast, really fast. Whoa!
It would be great to have some teams entering the uh, uh, race leader channel to for an interview. In the race director. Director, sorry, yeah. Well, we can just drag people in there. <laughs> and just go harass them in the channel. Yeah. So, any team who wants to say a few words are more than welcome to join the race director channel. Jimmy, I don't know if it's me, but I maybe uh, I'm not sure. But is the backlight on uh, Angelo Luigi Silio Silio's uh, working? Oh, it's now. <laughs> I turned them on. <laughs> Jeg bliver nødt til at, lige når jeg øh, broadcaster til alle, så bliver jeg lige nødt til at stoppe med at snakke. <laughs> okay. Ja, ja. Jamen, jeg kunne ikke høre, jeg kunne ikke høre du broadcaster til alle, Jimmy. Og du, du kunne ikke høre, at jeg whispered? What Nej. Nej, overhovedet ikke. Hmm, okay. Det er derfor. Undskyld, så det vidste jeg Nej, faktisk ja. ikke. Nej, <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't get that. <laughs> I was uh, trying to uh, whisper to everyone. Someone ran with their headlights off, and uh, that's a clear indication that they do not run HDR, and I run with it off, so it's... Well, I wouldn't say it's a cheap, but it's not as stark, and you can run that. But I've, uh, I've asked ISI to look into this, Either the, so we can force HDR on, or, or well, it's up to them what uh, they'll they'll look into. But I've at least I've uh, I've tried to uh, get this uh, fixed. It looks like Bjorn Gobo now is on the same lap as Alberto, right, Jimmy? Hang on. Uh, Bjorn and Alberto 219, Bjorn 219. Uh, yeah, but yeah, <laughs> just by a. A small margin.
and the battle goes into 220 now. We now have both Daniel Pizzo in the pit and Jan Malbeck in the pit. And now I did not finish from Bart as well. Yeah, he was, uh, he was on, on, on the grass somewhere on the, on the track. I didn't, I didn't get where he was, but uh, all of a sudden he, he left, so... So each pit stop is about 90 seconds, so... It depends on what you're doing there. In terms of fuel and tire change. Yeah, pretty close, pretty close. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent positive on the uh, on the P1 cars though. Should be the same as as the rest of the classes, but I'm not sure. Oh, so Bart rejoined the race now. I s just saw him on the track. Seems like Arthur is still keeping his pace in that GTAM car, but it seems that he doesn't have enough torque to be able to catch up to Chiano. So um, it's going to be interesting to see what's going on there. Uh, was that 10 seconds between those two? About 6 here, but depends okay. on the life timing. 6, yeah, 7 I each. I, I didn't see it, I just uh, guessed, uh, guessed it. <sighs> we are now in the leading uh, Porsche in GGAM, that's Christian Meyer.
And we have a new fastest lap from Daniel Piso. 2.17.2.13 in GG Pro. Seems like we now have an, a new connect from uh, Rhino DiLaro or Reno, I never know, the Canadian team. Um, I don't know, it might be a, been a disconnect, but he's some 65 laps behind, so I think he's, I think the team now is just most here for enjoying the race and the atmosphere and just staying in the race so yeah and since you have a lot of uh, did not finish LMP1 drivers you still are able to gain some points from position 6 in LMP1 so for Rhino he should start stay in the race for the last two hours and he will have a ch some chance to gain some points. We are now watching Bjorn Gobo going in his eager friendly racing Lola Kopi car. Uh, he's very close by uh, Manuel Campano by 3.2 seconds. So uh, we will go internal to the cockpit and see how it looks like when he's catching up.
Seems like Björn Gobu is fighting with some traffic here and somehow not gaining on Manuel Campano due to that reason. So, but let's wait and see. We, s we st will still be in his cockpit for some time to see if it managed to catch up. This seems to be very exciting for the LMP2 right now uh, for position one. Wow, that was a huge gain on that straight. 2.7 seconds right now. Uh, what car is that? Uh, right now I'm looking at Manuel Campano's uh, wing. Uh, just behind the GT car you will see uh, Bjorn Gorbo catching up right now. He's only 3.6 seconds behind. Now, see he's just down there. We are now watching uh, Manuel Campano's rear wing. Okay. So, Bjorn is catching... Uh yep. Oh, okay. It's 3.5 seconds now. Uh, Bjorn is also a bit unlucky for the car last couple of laps because of traffic and shit. So... I think uh, the Spanish team now is feeling the pressure from the Danish driver Bjorn. Uh, it seems like Manuel now is really pressing the pedal to the metal to s keep his first position. Well, there's still two hours to go, so even though Bjorn might, might be faster right now, doesn't really mean a thing, so if he's fast, I'll just, I, w I would just let him go. Uh, but again, you never know. Exactly. So, 320 on Manuel and 322 on uh, Bjorn, so a, a little bit of a difference in uh, top speed between those two. And as announced before, we will be looking for uh, uh, looking on the on the car's top speed and stuff like that. But yeah, I would say though uh, we managed to set up our TS uh, TS racing car after the qualifying were done, and I was able to hit 338 in my LMP2 one car on the straight. Yeah. Way too fast, but um, yeah, we'll we'll get to that. But maybe not this update. Maybe not next update. But we'll get uh, get it fixed. Though. Well, I'm pretty sure for the next race, Mid Ohio, we won't see that kind of top speed, anyways. do feel that Bjorn now has very sweaty hands, he really wants to catch up to the Spanish Manuel Campano JTD team. Nevertheless, the Spanish Number seven seven, it is JDT team has uh, has proved himself worthy at least uh, a good showing. First position in P two with two hours to go and uh, their first showing here. So uh, 
Very nice indeed. Now we have a new fastest lap in uh, GTAM, uh, Luca, 219 something. Wow. Uh, what, what, looking at how Manuel goes through the corners, it kind of looks like he's missing some grip on the front end of the car. Like it's uh, understeering. I have some yeah, chat on tweet saying from the JTT team that Eco Freddy must do a pit stop. I don't know if you can give any comments on that, Jimmy. I have no idea. I, I haven't noted when uh, they pit it, but well, if I remember correctly, we did adjust the cars, and if someone could uh, confirm this, I think the P2s will do around 55 minutes on a stint. So if they timed it right, hmm. Maybe, maybe Pierre needs to do three more and 77 just have to do two more. I'm not sure. I, <laughs> I can't remember though. They are definitely so close and in terms of driving and driving style and speed uh, I do think that this race will be in between the winner will be in between pit stops less than four seconds now for Bjorn to Manuel yeah uh, Manuel just lost a, a lot of time going uh, through turn uh, 10, 11, and 12 because of a PTE and a, a P2. Now Bjorn is 2.6 seconds from uh, Manuel. He's now able to see him up front, so uh, now it's going to be very exciting. Maybe now Bjorn will get the advantage of uh, a draft. Oh, the Sim HQ P2 just went, uh, went off to give Bjorn the room. No. Let's see if Sebastian does the same thing. That's see that's the beauty of multi class racing. Last lap Manuel Thor's time in uh, turn ten and eleven now. Bjorn loses time and almost pushes off uh, another P two in the pro process. 
We have a new fastest time for the P2. 205332. And uh, who's that? Bot. Wow. So the the gap between the two cars should now be uh, increased since this lot Bjorn had issues with traffic. Just looking at David Greco now, uh, the leader. He's on, on his way to lap 242. Second place is on lap 233. If that's not uh, impressive, <laughs> I don't know what is. Did David just do another uh, fastest lap 2008? I honestly didn't notice. But yeah, that's the fastest lap. Now 2008.63. Not sure what lap that was.
now have Daniel Faba in GTAM closing in on Luca and, and fighting for second position. There's still some 12 seconds, but we will definitely have a look at them. Bjorn just uh, in the, the pit, John Gobo. And now he's going out again, actually, I think. Yep. We now have uh, Sean Campbell uh, only 22 seconds behind Federico, so we might see something going on there as well. Um, seems like much of the different positions is in reach of a pit stop, so um, yeah. Yet again, uh, approximately one hour and 46 minutes left of the race. Uh, if anybody or anybody on the stream has any questions, please go ahead and ask. Uh, we will definitely try as much as possible to answer your questions. And uh, I already know Jim is responding to quite a lot of different questions there, and also asking questions. So. And it will still be very good to uh, have some of the teams coming to the race director channel to have a chat. Maybe some of the guys who are not driving for the team could enter and have a little interview or tell about their experience of running on Spa today with all the changing weather and track conditions and stuff. There's a lot of things to discuss, I think. So anyhow. Any team are more than welcome to join.
I don't know if I have any wise left tomorrow. Could you go? Oh, well, no, I'm probably too late because Sean uh, just uh, we took Federico Suave. Nice. Because Federico is in the pits with Bart as well. So, 2v2s in the pits right now. And second place, TT Pro is in the pits. And a driver swap as well. Do you think Joe would be able to catch up to Federico? Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps. Joe's doing two nineteens consistently these last couple of laps two twenty, two twenty one but mostly two nineteen, so yeah.
<laughs> what comment? Uh, I don't know what comment either. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out what's going on. <laughs> yeah, Rhino. Rhino is in Oh, he's uh, leaving again now? Or? No, no, he's just uh, DNF. Yeah. Stink, you know. There's not many rhinos left. <laughs> oh, it would be great to see Daniel Faber uh, catching in on Luca to get some excitement here in GTAM. Uh, for the time being, uh, it seems that he's struggling to get enough talk to being able to catch up to Luca. So it seems the time seems very steady, around 14 seconds. Yeah, I, th I think you should go through the field just uh, 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 all 30, 30 seconds or so on, on all drivers, so we can just uh, go go through them. So everyone will get some air time. Oh, sure, definitely. So. Let's have a look at David Grego. Seems like we are having some excitement now going on on Arthur close to Tiziano. Let's have a look at that if it's getting any closer. 
We are now falling.